Hi, my name is Regina May Stova. I am the daughter of Russell Wesley Stova. I was born May 19, 1962 in Portland. Um, I lived all my life in Portland, traveled a few places. I have three children, Sherry Lynn Stova, she's 27, she lives in Scarborough. I have James Lawrence, he's 24, he lives in Lewiston. And I have a daughter, Katrina Ann. She was, she's 21, and she was the only baby born on Columbus Day in the hospital. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I didn't do much. I graduated from high school. Uh, I do a lot with Maine People's Alliance for consumers for affordable health care. I met senators and congressmen. Some of my best friends are senators today. Um, I'm a cancer survivor twice. Um, I lost a baby to SIDS. Uh, she was born on Thanksgiving Day and she died on Thanksgiving Day, uh, eight weeks old. That's fine. Um, I kind of miss a uh, family reunion. So all my aunts and uncles, they're musical players, and it's nice to see the family again after 30. Patty's making faces at me. That's okay. <laughs> Patty. Um, I've been doing genealogy. I've been doing genealogy now for almost 10 years. I've I've studied the Stover line and the Holt line and Rollins lines. They're all part of our family. We come from York, Maine. Uh, we help found part of York. We're one of the oldest families in the York area. Um, my relatives were considered rich for that time in the 1600s. If we were to add up the money today that he had, he would be pretty close to $500,000 in, in today's money. Um, we have a lot of stories in our family, some good, some bad. Uh, mostly those of the Indian Wars or Queen Anne's War, the Seven Year War. Um, our family has had children stolen by the Indians. Four boys, ages three to ten. Uh, the Indians took the children. They bopped the baby on the head because it couldn't keep up. The white man fired. The Indians retaliated and stabbed the next little boy and threw him in the river. The third one, the fate is unknown, and the fourth one, Joseph, he went to Canada and was naturalized in 1710 and brought his family to, to York, Maine. We travel throughout Maine, coastal Maine and beyond. Um, we have about 4,000 names and still growing. And Sylvester left quite an ancestry for us. Uh, all of Hopswell was built by Estova. They trudged the woods, they cut a clearing, and any name synonymous in Hopswell would be the Stover's name. We have a mansion there, um, still standing today. We have shipyards, boatyards, and many other exciting things. Um, I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say. Depends what you want, you have to ask. Go. I want to know what you want me to say. Don't um, laugh. No. <laughs> um, I've been doing Ancestry for a long time now. We do have a family tree online at Ancestry.com. Uh, most information is there. There are some stories, but everything changes and nothing is for actual fact unless it is a verified record. Um, we have people in our family that uh, have existed for over 300 years, born and died, but they still don't know where they're coming from. So if anybody has anything that they'd like to share or add to the tree, you're more than welcome to add it. It's to be shared by everyone. Um, I'll give you a password. You go in and fill in your own corner. And what's, what's, your, you, what's your password? I ain't telling you my password. Hey. You have to email me to get my password. Oh, that's fine. I was teasing. I was just going to see if you did it. I always teasing me. Um, I still like to connect with people that I don't. I don't know. Um, I, I've met uh, a grand niece of Aunt Bev's, which is um, Bessie Madeline, um, her sister. Um, she has grandchildren. I do know that Bessie 
um, had her name, swapped her name for Madeline because she did get teased at school. She has very dark hair, high forehead, wide forehead, crystal blue eyes, and a very German looking English face. Uh, I would tend to say that our family comes from Germany, um, but it's very hard to find. There are also two lines of Stover's. The original Stover line that we come from is 1628, and the other Stover line came to America in the 1700s. They are the Stover's that uh, Russell Stover Candies. There are Stovers in that line that married into the Daniel Boone family. Dwight D. Eisenhower married Sarah Stover. So we have kind of a big history. We're all connected in one way or another. Um, but what I'd like to do is share with Aunt Bev, seeing how she's the last of her family, what I know, and give her a sense of where her family originated. I think, I think that pretty much does it. So, 